Hi. In this clip, we're going to check out how the guitar strings vibrate or oscillate, and uh, how that gives the uh, frequency range of the guitar. We're also going to check out an uh, iPad app, uh, the Spectrum Analyzer, which plots the frequency response uh, of the guitar in real time. So let's consider this string uh, on a guitar or a bass. If you pluck it, it's going to start oscillating or vibrating uh, and form standing waves. And you can see one of them. Uh, so let's first check out what is a standing wave then. Uh, let's, let's assume that you have a string that you've attached to the wall. And you jerk your hand and, and that there is a pulse moving along the string, bouncing against the wall back towards you. Uh, if you move your hand up and down, this will repeat. And if you do it in the, you move your hand in the resonant frequency of the system or of the string, the, the waves that move back and forth will, will uh, cancel each other out and reinforce uh, in such a way that you will, you will have something that looks as if it's standing still, a standing wave. But the guitar uh, wants to oscillate at a number of frequencies at the same time when you pluck it. Uh, let's check out this experiment first, you know, with the string in the wall. I've actually tried, tried to try that myself. Check it out. Okay, it's kind of a crude setup. I might have attached a string to a pillar and just move it up and down in the resonant frequency. So we ha you have the fundamental tone. If you increase the frequency, well, an entire period will fit between the, uh, me and the pillar. And uh, if you increase the frequency, you'll have even higher overtones. And these exist side by side on the guitar. The fundamental of an E string, of a lower E string of an electric guitar, is 82 hertz. Uh, you can see the amplitude is uh, the biggest at the 12th fret in the middle. Uh, so, so the neck pickup, which is closest to that, picks up the most of the fundamental. So it's the basest microphone. Uh, then you have this, uh, the first overtone, which is uh, double the frequency of the fundamental, uh, 165 hertz. Uh, then you have the second overtone, which is three times, uh, 249 hertz. And it goes on. Uh, uh, the, the overtones get uh, less and less loud uh, as you move up in frequency. Uh, I think they're almost quiet when you... When you get up to 8 kilohertz or something like that. But you know, most, most guitar speakers cut at 5 kilohertz. So, so, so um, that's the limit. Okay, now let's check out the Spectrum Analyzer iPad app. Let's then check out the lower E string. Let's um, check out the first overtone by uh, dampening on the 12th fret. The second overtone uh, by dampening at the 5th uh, fret. Let's check out the higher E string. And the first overtone of that one by dampening at the uh, the 12th fret. The second overtone of the higher E string. Let me, let me sit down here. Ah, ah, the second overtone uh, of the higher E string by dampening at the 5th fret. Obviously the string can't be at several places at, uh, at the same time. Uh, the actual shape of the string is the the sum of all overtones uh, to have them superimposed like you can see here in the picture. So here you have an entire fretboard worth of the fundamental notes. You can see that they range from 82 hertz for the lower open E string down to about 1 kilohertz. So this is the meat uh, that should be provided by the guitar and that has to be balanced against uh, bass and, and other more meaty instruments.
Then you have the overtones, for instance, for uh, the lower E, which have a fundamental of 82 Hz. Uh, the overtones are multiples of 82 Hz, so it's 165, 249, 330, and so on. Uh, with the spectrum analyzer, you could see how how the the overtones uh, were quieter and quieter uh, as you moved up in frequency. Uh, and as I said before, the the speaker cuts at five five kilohertz. So uh, so that's the uh, upper range. All right. To conclude, I'm going to show you a signal chain of uh, guitar tracking. Uh, well, obviously you sent off uh, these frequencies from the guitar when you play. They're, they're uh, amplified and by the amp, and, and uh, maybe you use the EQ on the amp to modify it for certain styles. You use the EQ quite quite heavily, and and the rest of the steps here uh, of this chain also modifies the signal. Uh, but it's important to know what the fundamentals. Uh, and, and most powerful overtones are uh, of the signals that, that you send off uh, to get a big, big powerful sound and, and a good signal. Because all, all these steps uh, may, may undermine it. Uh, you, you, may, you may add something in a step to, to get a, a cool sound, but, but, but you, uh, you, you, you may uh, undermine uh, the bigness of the signal by doing so. So it's, it is good to remember what are the frequencies of what I played at, in the beginning. All right. Uh, I, I really like some feedback, as usual. Uh, and don't hold back. Cheers.